Real estate entrepreneur Michael Saracini grew his business Keyspire from nothing into a $20 million company within a span of six years. You might even recognize him from Income Property, the longest running real estate investing show in TV history. He started with a big idea and even bigger ambitions. He knew he wanted to grow his business to be big, but what he didn't know is how he was going to do it. Then he joined Strategic Coach, the world's leading coaching program that helps successful entrepreneurs achieve greater levels of freedom and growth. Over the course of this video, you will find out how Michael implemented the 10x mindset strategy found at Strategic Coach to achieve the business and lifestyle of his dreams. And by the time you finish watching this, you might also feel that achieving your desired level of success is a lot easier than you think. Michael invited us into his beautiful home in Guelph, Ontario, a city located in southwestern Ontario, Canada, to share his experience on how he grew his business more than 10 times, multiple times, using strategic coach tools and concepts. I am so excited to dig into your 10x mindset story. Well, thank you for being here. This is really exciting to be able to, to show people how 10x works. I'm Michael Saracini. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Keyspire. We put people in control of their own future. And we do that by laser focusing on real estate investor coaching. So it's a really exciting field and our clients are just, it's so much fun to, to help people get there. I love that. So can you explain to people what is exactly real estate investment coaching? What sort of things do people come to you for and what sort of, what does this coaching look like? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. It's interesting how it all started because my core focus right now is Keyspire, is to put people in control of their future. But the business Keyspire is a spinoff of my previous business, which is my real estate investing business. It started around, in the year 2000, my business partner and I we started investing in real estate. We started growing and building a real estate investor business. And along the way, like most entrepreneurs, we had a lot of successes and also a lot of failures. So we realized that we were doing it the hard way, but we didn't have any other options at the time. We didn't have any other tools. So we just kept going, just working harder to get harder, to get better results. And then Keyspire was born in one moment in 2004 when we went to a real estate investing workshop to, to learn a little bit more ourselves. And we realized at that point how much we actually knew, the shortcuts we already had created, things that were in our brain that, that we just didn't know how to pull out or we hadn't pulled out to that point. And at, at lunches and breaks, we had the group of other attendees and they were surrounding us and asking us questions and we were answering all of them and adding value. And we were coaching them on what to do next. And I remember when we left, my business partner and I said, this is really cool. This felt really good and it was a lot of fun to be able to add that value to people. So that's where real estate investing coaching comes from. It's taking what we've already done in our business and now showing other people how to do that. It's like one of those aha moments in life where you say, this is something, we gotta, ro we gotta roll with this. Now it wasn't six years, it was six years later when Keyspire was eventually born. In that six years that you were creating Keyspire, you ran into some challenges and some obstacles. Do you remember one that you can share? What was going through your mind at that time? What was the hardest part? Yeah, so the, the obstacle, so leading up to before we even knew Keyspire was going to exist, we had this idea, this vision, where we could coach people, where we could lead a team that coaches people and take all of the shortcuts that are existing and, and somehow deliver them to people. but how does that happen? You don't know how, how to do that, how to package that, how to put that together. So our first shot at that was we actually created a concept for a TV show, a TV show called Income Property, where we basically just took our business model, which was finding a one unit property and adding a second or third unit. So we would increase the income and we would increase the value, we'd refinance it. So we'd get our money back out, we'd keep the first property as a rental, but then we'd use that to buy another property. We did that over and over again. So we wanted to teach people how to do that. It's a method we call flip to yourself. It's a, one of the unique methods that we teach at Keyspire. So we want to show people how to do this. So we created this TV show concept called Income Property, which is basically just our business model. So my business partner, Scott, he ran with that. He ran with the show. Right now, it's the longest running real estate investing show in history. It's still running, it's top rated. Like people just love the concept of being able to own your future with real estate investing. As he was doing that, uh, 
I was thinking, how can we now take all the questions that come in from the show, all of these concepts that we can't cover in 21 minutes, how can we turn that into something more for people? So it wasn't enough for me. I said, how can we now turn this into something bigger? How can we, and I didn't know the 10X term at the time, but that's what I was thinking without knowing the concept of 10X. How can I take this value I add to the world and 10X it is, is where my mind was going. So I was on the show for a couple of years, but I left the show in 2008 and I spent the next 18 months building our first program. So I just worked on the program and I did it myself because of rugged individualism. I didn't realize that to grow 10X, it's, you need a team. You don't just do it yourself, uh, but I did it. It took more time and more frustration than it should have, but I went and did it. So that would be the, my first obstacle is the time. It took me 18 months to create what I could have created in probably 18 weeks if I had the 10X mindset. So Michael, one of the most interesting things that you have mentioned to me when explaining your awesome story was that at the very beginning of Keyspire, you had this ambition or this vision. You knew you wanted it to be big and you knew you were gonna grow things to be on an exponential scale, but you didn't exactly know how. Can you talk a little bit about going back then, what did that feel like? So it was an interesting place in my life because I had just uh, 10x the business, my successful real estate investing business. So I did 10x that. Um, and so I said, well, I want to do the same thing. I want to grow. I want to be the biggest. As we add value to people, I want to have the most amount of clients. I didn't know how to quantify it. But I also said, I'm a decade older, a decade smarter. I don't want to do all of that hard work that I did before. I want to do hard work, but I don't want to do what I did before, that I can't again. do that. I don't want yeah. to do that again. So how do I get the 10X results? How do I get the results I want? And I don't have to work as hard. So I started the business, we launched in 2010, and I did what I know best, which is rugged individualism, which is I just, I work harder, I stay up later, I get better results. I work weekends, I get better results. The more I work, the better results I get. That's the old way of thinking now. That was, yeah. yeah, so that was my first. <laughs> but that's what worked for that time. That was, that, and that's all I knew. And you know, that's the thing, when I talk to entrepreneurs, that's all they know, most entrepreneurs. If they're not thinking 10X, all they know is how can I do it myself? How can I work harder? And how can I get better results? Because as entrepreneurs, we get to where we are because we work hard, because we have this rugged individualism where we're gonna just make it happen. We'll make anything happen. And so we'll get to 2X by doing it ourselves. So that's what I was doing. It's, it's all I knew as an entrepreneur. But I also was aware enough in the back of my mind, I'm like, I need a different solution. I don't want to get into starting to raise a family, uh, have kids and all of those things and still be working these crazy amount of hours. Because you can't. Because I can't, it, it just, it can't do it. So I was, There's gotta mind, be, was a, better yeah, There's gotta was be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. There's solutions, there's gotta be a better way. So uh, a couple of years after I launched the company, I was introduced to Strategic Coach. So I found Strategic Coach and I don't know how I got there, but I got to one of the information sessions. I went with a friend and uh, we started chatting with other entrepreneurs and chatting with the team and just seeing how things are. And I said, this is the solution I've been looking for for the last couple of years. It wasn't my solution from eight years ago because I didn't know that I could grow 10X with less work and, and less frustration. But I knew into my second business that I could do 10X with less work, less frustration, just more enjoyment. So I said, this is the solution. So I, I joined right away and I was at my first workshop within, within a few months. And at the first workshop, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but uh, I knew that I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go all in. I knew I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna take whatever I can out of this workshop. And that workshop just completely opened the door to a different way of thinking. Okay, Michael, how long have you been in Strategic Coach at this point? And tell me a little bit about what your first experience was like. So I've been in Strategic Coach, I guess I was introduced 10 years ago, and in a couple months, it'll be 10 years to my first workshop. So, so a decade uh, in Strategic Coach, and uh, I go to every single session I can. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Yeah, because we have our golden ticket concept. Yeah. So you are currently in the 10X Ambition program, correct? Yes. And when you're in that program, you get a golden ticket, which means you can sort of cross-pollinate and escape to all the other workshops if you want to check them out, see what's going That's on. Right. Yeah, I started, with, I started in the signature program. I really enjoyed that. And then, uh, so now I'm in the 10X Ambition program. And it's all about thinking 10X, growing 10X. Don't go there if you don't think and want to grow 10X. 
but if you do, this is the mindset and the tactical tools that make it happen. And yeah, the, I love the golden ticket because I get to pick and choose the signature workshops that are appropriate to me at any given time. Dan Sullivan, who is uh, the co-founder of Strategic Coach and creates all of these wonderful tools and strategies for entrepreneurs, he came up with the concept that we call the 10x mindset. It's all about growing your business by 10 times is a lot easier than growing it by two times. Inside Strategic Coach, we call it 10x is easier than 2x. Can you explain to everyone what exactly does that mean? Yeah, it's a it's a great question, and you know what? It scares a lot of people off. I bet. I know when I tell people, they think I'm a little crazy. They're like, "How can first of all, how can 10x be easier than 2x? Uh, and second of all, how can you even grow 10x? Especially the analytical minds. You know, you you tell a CFO or a finance person you're going to grow 10x, their mind automatically goes to the spreadsheet and the numbers, and they're crunching the growth, and and it just doesn't work that way. That's not the 10x isn't a tactical function. 10x mindset isn't a you know a step by step plan. It's a mindset. It's a way of thinking that shifts your perspective on your business and allows you to do things fundamentally differently for less frustration. You do more in less time, and 10x ultimately makes more money and gets you better results than 2x. And gives you a lot more freedom, which we'll get to later. But that's kind of where the road leads. Freedom is an important part of 10X versus 2X because what happens is a lot of entrepreneurs, they get into being an entrepreneur, they start a business or whatever they're doing uh, in order to gain freedom. So that's usually the goal. In some way or another, freedom means different things, but you want more freedoms in life. That's why you become an entrepreneur. In order to get those freedoms, you need money. In order to get the money, you gotta work hard. So they end up working hard for the money and when they're successful, they get really good at making money. So they do more and more of it turns out they've just given up the thing that they started after in the first place was their freedom. Their freedom is gone because they're working so hard to reach the next level of success. Uh, but when you're successful, if you don't do it right, you've just eliminated all your freedoms. It becomes a trap. It becomes a trap. It's the golden handcuffs. And so 10X allows you to build your business in such a way and grow in such a way that you for the most part, avoid the trap of eliminating your freedoms, getting stuck in the business 80 hours a week. Can you explain a little bit about how the 10X mindset has worked for you? You have this great um, strategy that you shared with me that there's kind of the top three things that that you do. Yeah, so the, the 10X mindset, I've been, I've been living it. I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm still learning every single day how I can sharpen the ax with the 10X mindset. I'm still learning every day how I can expand that to the people around me, to my family, my friends, my team, my business partners, just trying to grow this 10X mindset. Because I know if I surround myself with 10Xers, then I become a 10Xer by default. But for me, 10X really has three main impacts on my life. The first is elimination of a job. I've basically eliminated my job by growing 10X versus 2X. The innovation by default, so there's this massive innovation that happens just by virtue of thinking in 10x terms. And there's this opportunity filter that naturally happens by thinking 10x. So I'll tell you about all three of those. The first one is eliminating a job. So when you're growing 2x, and I know this by trying it myself, and I know this by talking to so many different entrepreneurs, talking to our clients. Our clients are real estate investors that want to grow their business. And when they come to me and they say they want to grow 2x, I know what they're up against. Those that think big and want to grow 10x, I know the path that's in front of them. So I've seen this, this happen over and over in my industry. When people grow 2x, what they do is they work hard. It's working weekends, it's working late into the night. And I know because that's how I started when I was younger and growing my first business was just making it happen by the sheer blood, sweat and tears of my own efforts. That's creating a job. You've basically given, your, and you've given yourself a job. Now having a job isn't a bad thing, but if you're working 80 hours a week for a job when you originally signed up for freedoms, then there's a disconnect and you're not gonna be happy. 
So, you know, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say as growing 2x makes you unhappy, but I would, <laughs> I, that might be a, a bit of a blanket statement That's or mindset. That's a whole mindset. other story, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I have experienced and seen that when you grow 2x versus intentionally thinking about going 10x, you're more likely to be unhappy with your role in your business, your role in your, your value add to the world. That spills over to your family life. I mean, I couldn't have grown. I have a family now, I have two young kids. I couldn't do it before like, I couldn't do it now like I did it before because it just took too much effort, too much time. So that's 2x, you've created a job. You can't grow 10x just by working harder and longer. There's not enough hours in a day. You can't make a, a nine day work week. So it's almost impossible unless you're you know, a unicorn tech company or you know, something crazy happens for the most part. You can't grow 10x by just working harder and longer. You have to do things fundamentally different. You have to put in a team of people that are all working in their unique ability and they are all 10xing based on their unique ability and you're now be able to, you can step back and work in your unique ability and add value where you add value best. You don't have to do that at 2x, but at 10x you have to think of it as a team. You have to embrace the beautiful concept of who, not how, that is one of the foundational philosophies of strategic coach, who, not how, which is, it's not how I'm gonna get to 10X, it's who's gonna help me to get to 10X. When you grow 2X, you just say, how am I gonna grow to 2X? I'm just gonna do 10% more work and you're gonna grow to 2X over a few years, over a number of years. And then that kind of naturally leads you into seeking out those bigger collaborations or making those bigger leaps and bounds that maybe you wouldn't have considered before. And I think you mentioned it before and you worded it so well. You said when you're growing 10X, you're kind of forced to bring on the A team, the big players, you don't have a choice. Yeah. And then that all naturally, you know, develops into bigger results, yeah. right? Well, and this is the fun part about 10X. Like when you think when you think about growing 10x and you commit, you emotionally commit, you philosophically commit to say, I'm going to grow 10x, you start to carry yourself 10x. You start to walk and talk 10x. You start to, my favorite saying, believe it until you make it. You start to be a 10xer. And the more you emotionally commit to it, the more you ooze 10x. Which is why and we call happens. it a 10x mindset, right? Yeah. It's, it's a mindset, all about your yeah. mindset, your confidence, everything. Yeah, it's not a plan, although there's a great tool that Strategic Coach has called the 10x Mind Expander, which gives you a bit of a plan. But really, it's the mindset. But, but the, I, the beautiful thing and the fun part is you start to live the 10x ideology. And the important part of that is it attracts other similar people. You start attracting people that also think 10x strategic partners, employees, tactical clients. partners, clients. Like you, when you emotionally commit to 10X, you surround yourself with 10X A players. Because people that think 2X, they don't want to be part of your world. They're like, this too is too big, it's too stressful. It's, I, I can't do it, they're the I can't group, I can't do 10X, it's not gonna happen. I need a plan, I can't think abstract or visionary like that. And so those people filter themselves out. Anyone who's a 2X player isn't attracted to you. They bounce off of you because you repel them. But anyone who is a 10X, right? It's like marketing. The, <laughs> the goal of marketing is to attract the best client for you and repel everybody else. When you think 10X, you basically are attracting the world into your circle that all think 10X and you're repelling anyone who thinks small. So the result of that is after a number of months or a number of years, you start to surround yourself with 10X thinkers. And I think anyone can imagine what happens if you surround yourself with 10X thinkers and you're a 10X thinker, you're much more likely to, to grow exponentially than if you surround yourself with 2X thinkers. Because you don't want to play in that playground anyway. Your mind is set on bigger things That's right. here. That's, there's a sandbox for the 2Xers and they're going to have a great time. That's fine. But if you're a 10Xer, you're going to play in your playground. You're going to play in your zone. And the people that are going to come into your zone and just be magnetized towards you by the way you talk, by the way you think, by the way you act, are gonna be 10Xers. Then your business just grows exponentially, almost by default, because the, the tide raises you, the people around you raise you up. And that's why 
uh, the 10x mindset is, is one of the most powerful things to get you to where you want to go with the help of other people. Number two for me, I call innovation by default. So to grow 10x, you have to always be changing. Not in a bad way, you still need stability, but you have to always be looking out for what the newest and best way to deliver your value to the world is. You don't have to change your product, you don't have to change your mission. For us at Keyspire, our specialty is real estate investor coaching. It is today, will be eight or 10 years from now, but how we deliver that coaching will continuously change. Because in order for me to 10X the business from today to 10 years from today, I have to continuously deliver my value in an innovative and better way it's to the customer. It's going to be different each time. You're not going to keep replicating the last way you You're did it. You're not doing the same thing every time. And what happens is the company becomes the tip of the spear in the entire marketplace. And when you're the tip of the spear, you're the lead ship in an Armada 20 ships. Those are all your competitors. If you're the lead ship, everyone is in your wake. Your competitors are trying to catch up to you. You're out front there and there's no competition. You have market dominance when you innovate by default. And that's the beautiful thing about thinking 10X. We have to shift, we have to innovate. And right now our company is the market leader. We are the innovator. We have the most innovative products, the most innovative delivery. And the things that I'm working on today, the things that I'm launching six months from now, my competitors are gonna be trying to copy 12 months from now. And by the time they get there, I've already launched the next thing. And that's not because I'm necessarily smarter, faster, or work harder than anybody else. It's just when we think in this 10X mindset at Keyspire, we know that we always have to be innovating in order to get to that 10x goal. And innovation by default, if we're innovating, then by default, we are the tip of the spear, we are ahead of all of our competition, and now everyone's catching up to us. So the first impact is eliminating your job. The second impact that's had on me is the innovation by default. And the third impact is this, this filter by default that we have with every opportunity that comes down the pipe. As an entrepreneur, I want to do everything. A lot of us do. Most of us do. We want to try this and try that and try this. And it's really difficult to focus your energy as an entrepreneur. 10X mindset allows me to focus my energy and allows my company to focus my energy. And here's how. When we get an opportunity that comes in, there's simply just two check boxes. Does this lead to my 10X goal or does this take away from my 10X goal? So simple, and so but simple. so powerful. Yes, this one I learned from Dan, and this is what Dan Sullivan says, and I use it every opportunity that comes in. My company uses it. Everyone knows we now ask, okay, there's a great opportunity, whether it's an email that came in from someone or it's something that a team member identified. The first thing that we all ask, does this contribute to our 10X goal or does this take away from our 10X goal? And even if it's an amazing opportunity, we will put it off to the side if it doesn't contribute to that 10X goal. And how much time does that save you and your team and your clients and everyone? It Just that saves simple filter. So much time, so much money, and it provides confidence in the business, confidence for the team, confidence for me as the entrepreneur, confidence for our clients, knowing that we're not a company that's just doing all kinds of random stuff. Every single year, we're doing another random thing. It's like, no, our clients know what we do. You're we're focused. laser focused. They get it, and that's why we're the best at it. Because and they want to be a focus. part of it. They want to be a part of that. And then it goes back to attracting the right people that now want to be a part of it. And now you have this upward spiral of success versus the, the downward spiral of attrition. Very simple, but so powerful. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your team once they've been introduced to the 10x mindset thinking and structure? Yeah, it's, it's interesting whether you, when I introduce my team or when I introduce anyone to the 10X mindset, the first thing that most people say is, uh, is that it doesn't make sense or it's how are you gonna get there, right? It's how, how are we gonna get to 10X when you tell them you wanna be 10X? Everyone defaults to how, and I really love the strategic coach philosophy and mindset of, of who, not how. So you have to educate everyone, you gotta teach them, okay, we're gonna get the right people in place to get there. So don't feel like, you know, for the team, don't feel like you're going to do all this work to grow to 10x. We're going to, by default, be forced to bring in the best talent to work alongside you to get to that goal. So the team absolutely loves the fact that um, we are going to attract and bring in the best talent to work with them. But, but I think something that I had to make clear for everyone with 10x 
in my interpretation anyway, the way I see it is 10X to me is a mindset. It's not a tactical goal. So if your 10X number is, you know, a certain number, it, it's less important to me that we hit that number. I know it sounds a little crazy. And anyone who does goal setting is like, well, that doesn't make any sense. For me, when I do, when I do my 10X mindset in my mind, emotionally and ph philosophically, it's less important that at the end of say 10 years, that's the number we hit. What's important to me is the behavioral changes it makes along the way in order to get to that number. The difference in thinking you have to have, the filter that we talked about you have to have in place, the innovation that happens by default all along the way. Whether you hit your 10X goal, you're a little over, a little under, even if you're a lot under your 10X goal and you only grow 8X, it's still better than 2X. Yeah. Right? It's still better. Like, yeah. You know, what's the, the cheesy saying? You shoot for the stars, at least you'll hit the moon. Or, you know, so right. it's less about the actual number to me. It's more about how do we have to live our life every day to get to that number? And that's where the magic happens is the day to day thinking and the day to day behavior the day-to-day -day mindset of the team. Because so much value, and at Strategic Coach, we like to call those, you know, the strategic byproducts. There's so much yeah. value that can come out of that type of innovation. That's right. It is, it's all byproducts. It's a great way to look at it is, you know, the end result is you're gonna hit a certain 10-year target, which is gonna mean whatever it means to each entrepreneur, more money or more freedom or more impact, whatever it is you're after, um, or all three, often all three, but the, the real richness is in the byproducts that pop out, the people you change along the way, the team members that you hire, the partnerships you make, the clients you impact, all of that byproduct is the real result of the 10X goal. The 10X goal is just a thinking experiment to create all of these byproducts along the way. And so that's what I've experienced. In order to get to 10X, I do things fundamentally differently. I am aware of, relationships and partnerships much differently and then every day when I do certain things in my business with that filter with that mindset they're more fulfilling and more enriching in my life because um, they have to be innovative they have to drive this, this bigger future and uh, an example I can give is this uh, one of the first exercises we do in coach is the lifetime extender where we envision our life being a lot longer than we originally thought. So my lifetime extender right now has my life at 121 years. And so people think that's crazy. People uh, people say, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? You have a glass of wine with dinner. How are you ever going to get there? And you know, everyone will say how it can't be done. But I'm going to apply the same philosophy of I'm less concerned with living to 121. It's not the goal. What if I die at 120 or 95? I care less about the actual age of 121, what happens is it changes my behavior on a day to day. Every day I'm making better nutritional and fitness choices because I know I have to get there. So to get there, I have to live differently every day. And the byproduct of that, like you were saying, the byproduct is I'm healthier, I'm happier, my mood is better, my, um, you know, it just, I'm happier and healthier every day because I have to live differently to get to 121. The really cool thing about growing 10X is, in, is, is by function of this innovation, by being the lead ship in the Armada, is your team always gets something slightly new and different to do. Because entrepreneurs, we're curious people. We want to know what's around that next corner. We want to know what's under that rock. We're curious. And with curio curiosity comes variety. We want to try new things and do new things. And we generally attract curious team members that are entrepreneurial, that, that like how we speak, that like our vision. And so they're curious. So you take a curious team that likes to try and do new things and you put them on the same path for 10 years with, with 2x growth, growing 10% a year, they're going to be bored after 36 months. Your team's going to leave you. The, the entrepreneurial 10x thinkers anyway, they're going to leave. You're going to lose your best people because they're bored. And so by not innovating, by just growing 2x, you're going to bore your company to death. And even though you're making money in the short term, it's not a good long-term path competition, boring your company to death. Um, those are things that I thought about in terms of why growing 10X has been so powerful for me or why the mindset of growing 10X. Yeah, and if you have, obviously, when you have high turnover, then your growth is stunted, right? 
Yeah, we, I mean, then every, it's a downward spiral, right? So what happens is you're not the lead ship anymore. You wake up one day, you're competing, you're commoditized, your prices are lower, your costs have to go down, so your quality delivery is lower. You're losing team members, so now you're shorthanded. And you know, when you think of when businesses go through this death spiral, part of it is the complacency of not innovating. And innovating is a whole other topic, but the point I want to make here is, if you want to make it easy to have an innovative company, just have a 10x goal. That will, by default, give you an innovative company. You have to innovate. Michael, earlier in our discussion, you said something that really hit the nail on the head for me. And you said, you know, being introduced to this whole 10x mindset really was the catalyst for you. It was kind of like the big bang moment for you to unopen this big box of all this other amazing growth. Can you talk about that a little bit more and sort of the things that have supported you along the way? Yeah, and, and I, I'm going to rewind back to my first strategic coach workshop where we start to really think right off the bat, the first exercise, the first tool, we just think uh, it, it w of a life with no limits and no barriers. And right away, that's freedom to me. That, that's liberating. Uh, and the exercise that we do right off the bat helps us understand, it helps me understand that there's more time to reach my goals. 10X isn't a matter of um, you've got to get there right away. You're, you, you can set the right time frame to get there. Uh, right off the bat with my first workshop, I started thinking of a bigger future. And we went through some of the tools to do that. And then in the workshops after that, every quarter we have our workshop, I started learning more of the tools that Strategic Coach brought to the table that, that, that they offer. And I realized there's really two types of tools for me. There was the strategic coach tactical tools. Those are the tools that help me take all of the shortcuts in my real estate investing business and organize them, package them, orient them, put them in such a way where I could drive that value, deliver that value directly to my client. Before taking these tools and, and packaging my value, I was still adding value to our clients and they were still being successful. But as soon as I learned how to laser focus my shortcuts, uh, my client's success 10 times. The thinking tools, I think, are even more powerful because the thinking tools help me get outside of the business and they help me uncover the shortcuts that I didn't even know I had. So kind of like the story I told you where when I first started Keyspire, we talked to a group of people and we explained I managed to teach them all these things I didn't even know. In Strategic Coach, the thinking tools allow me to do that on a quarterly basis. They allow me to really think about my thinking and pull out and bubble to the surface these shortcuts that I already have inside me, but I need to go through the thinking tool to get there. And so when I think I got the tactical tool to help me get traction right away and deliver value to my clients right away, and then I got the thinking tool that helps me create the new things that are coming up helps me innovate to get to my 10x goal. And those thinking tools, you know, sometimes those shortcuts don't come to market for a year down the line or two years down the line, but I pull them out with the thinking tool and then I get my who, not how to start to put that into place. So I wanted to mention that the, the first few workshops, I pulled out these tactical tools and within that first year, I, I could deliver tremendous value to my clients, which is why I keep coming back because I keep being able to deliver more value by using these tools. One of the tools that's that's so relevant for 10X is the 10X Mind Expander. Say, okay, if you wanna grow 10X, let's take a, say, I think we take a five year time frame. How much do you wanna grow in five years and what does it look like every year? So I did something interesting before you came over today. I, I pulled up my original 10X Mind Expander from 10 years ago and I wanted to see the work I did and how I did it. And I want to share, can I share some yes, of it with you? Yes, please do. I love this. I yeah. mean, how fun is it to look back at your 10 year vision, right? 10, your, or your vision from 10 years ago. You know, one of the other really cool things is this is journaling your life. Right. Most people don't document their success enough. They don't document their life. And by reading this, this is from, uh, this is 10, 12, 12 years ago. What's the date on so there? So this is, uh, 2010 to 2015 is this, and I'll, I'll share with you what that growth, <laughs> I'll surprise you later with what that growth actually was. But this is just one of the thinking tools, the 10X Mind Expander, and every year from year one to five, we just talked about our gross and net revenue, and then a couple key changes that happened. And I wanna share with you 
the impacts here of, of what I did. I want to share with you the exercise so you can, you can and anyone that's watching can, can do this. Yes, please do. Um, and, you know, reading this 12 years now later, it's absolutely amazing the things, if I didn't do these things, I wouldn't be where I am today. And, you know, I could probably figure it out. Well, I would have figured it out on my own. Let's face it, entrepreneurs are usually pretty clever. But how long would it have taken me to figure out these four boxes I'm about to share with you? Right. I figured them out in 90 minutes. <laughs> it might have taken 90 days or 90 know, years. nine months or 90, <laughs> who knows? So, yeah. <laughs> so here's the four, the four boxes here of the 10X Mind Expander. Okay. So what we do is we say, now that my company is 10X, write down the five biggest differences that there are to your company. So what are the five biggest differences from today to 10X? So that's the first thing somebody would do is write down the five biggest differences in your company. And this was that would before take you. your period of rapid exponential growth. This was the vision that you had jot down in your workshop. Yeah, this okay. is the vision. Okay, yeah. I, I'm not 10X now. Right. I've come to Strategic Coach for this solution on right. how I'm going to 10X my second business and how I'm going to do it with less frustration, less time and more enjoyment. This is the dream. And so this is okay. it. Okay, this is, I'm like, this is why I came here. <laughs> this activity is why I came here. So here's the five biggest differences. So I wrote down my five biggest differences in 10X. The next box, Michael, what are you, your three unique ability activities? So if I could only do three things in the business, what are the three things that I'm going to do to deliver the most amount of value to the marketplace? So and I, that you enjoy the most. Down. That I enjoy the most. Unique ability is a whole concept that, you know, we won't get into here, but it's it's a core concept of strategic coach, of how I live my life. Unique <laughs> ability is a whole other conversation, yeah. <laughs> but it's such a powerful thing. Right. I do it with my kids. I do it with my family. I do it with my team. I do it with myself. So this box, the second box, is to write down those three unique abilities. So I'm doing the things I love and adding the most value. So I wrote those down. Um, and it's interesting here. This is 12 years later. This is still my unique ability. This is still where I add the most uh, amount of value. I mean, one of them is live and online content delivery, which is kind of what we're doing right now. Right. <laughs> uh, which is one of the things that I do well. So first, uh, the first thing someone's going to do is write down their five biggest differences when they're 10x. The second thing is they're going to write down their three unique ability activities that they, that they want to do. The next is they're going to write down the company's three unique ability what makes your company unique? What are the three things your company should do? This is about focusing. Uh, and then the fourth one is three crucial delegations. So when you leave this conversation, what are three things that you need to delegate immediately or as soon as possible in order to get to that 10X? And that's where who not how comes in. If I were to do these three crucial delegations, if I were to kept, keep doing them myself, no way I would have grown 10x. You wouldn't be where you are today. I would agree. Yeah, I could go 2x by, by doing so this. So how does it feel now, 12 years later, to look at that? Because obviously you've stuck true to your vision and you've made your goals come true. What does it yeah. feel like when you look at that? It's really cool because it's, it's you know, I, I followed, this is pretty much the path that we took. You know, some of, I have some numbers in here, not all the same, but as far as the things that we did, the behavior the company had. And I'll put it that way, right? It's like, how did we behave? How were our decisions made to get to that 10X? How does it feel to look at this? I mean, it feels really, it feels really good. I, I guess I could use that word. It feels really good because as entrepreneurs, we never go back and review our successes. We're always so forward thinking. We're like trying but to get what's the next, next, what's next, what's, what's next? next? Yeah. How am I gonna make the next dollar? How am I gonna get the next client? How am I gonna make the next impact? When you have something documented and you're forced to document it, put it in a binder and you have it, you get to look back and say, wow, it's pretty cool, the, the journey we've been on. So, yeah, I guess that, that's a great question is, you know, how does it make me feel? It's really cool. It's kind of like we call it, I laugh with clients all the time about this. It's almost like the unforeseen magic of the tools. There's something yeah. that happens at Strategic Coach that when you fill out a tool, it happens in reality. Yeah. And laugh at it if you want or tell us we're crazy, but there's something about writing your goals down in pen and paper and there's psychological studies out there and scientific studies. It's proven that when you write down your goals in this very structured, clear thinking way, your brain finds a way to make yeah. them happen. Yeah. Right? That's right. And, and I, I'll take that even to the next level. After I write it down, I share it. Ah, uh, yes. share it, it makes it real. Even it's more like, real. I got to do this. 
right? So when I do my tools at Strategic Coach, I go back to my team and I'll pull out a few things and I'll share them. Like, all right, guys, here's the number of, you know, events we need to do. Here's the number of clients we need to have next year. Here's a, we know how many clients we need to have three years from now and eight years from now and 10 years from now because I share these thinking tools uh, and these ideas with my team. And that makes it really real because now I'm accountable. It's not just something I wrote down and I could just throw it away. I got to actually do it because I just shared it with my team. That's awesome. Do you remember, I know it was 12 years ago, but when you sat down and you wrote that, you filled out that tool, do you remember what it felt like the minute you were completed? I'll use the word confidence. It gave me confidence. And I'm a generally a more visionary type person in terms of I can see the end goal even though it doesn't exist. And I can have belief that I'll get there without the plan. Not, not everybody has that. And there's some people that they need to see the plan to see the end goal. And that's the skill set on its own. There's nothing wrong with both methods. I like to be able to say, here's where I'm going to go and then figure out how to get there and who's going to get me there. So that this gave me confidence because I could, I could see, okay, not only do I have this vision of getting to a certain spot, but if I just hit these milestones every year, it's doable. It's just, this isn't crazy. This isn't unrealistic. So it gave me a lot of confidence in, in that goal. Good. That's what we like yeah. to hear. That's yeah. what we want for our entrepreneurs yeah. at Strategic Coach. And you almost can't even put a price on that clarity and that confidence it gives you, right? Yeah. No, it's helpful. It's also helpful for entrepreneurs that are married to or have life partners that aren't entrepreneurs because this is a very different way of thinking. I think the last stat I saw, like three or five percent of people had the entrepreneur brain chemistry. So it's we just think differently. We're we're a little a little out there. And so when you're trying to explain to your life partner or husband or wife or spouse that this is what you're going to grow 10x, they're like, grow 10x. You know, I, I, yeah. So this is helpful for to bring confidence to the people around you too. Perfect. Thank you so much. I love the way you explain things. You explain them just so powerfully and so clear. And sometimes this could be a big subject to tackle, but you're really breaking it down for everyone. If I go back to the story I told you earlier about how I started and the things I wish I knew, these are the things I wish I knew as a business person. These are the things I wish I knew as, an, as a young entrepreneur. And you know, why, does 10X, why is 10X easier than growing 2X? Well, it's all of those reasons that we just talked about. Does it seem a little bit crazy? Well, maybe at first, but when you hear about it broken down that way, I hope entrepreneurs can see that yeah, maybe I should have that 10x mindset because it completely changes my life over the next few years. So you have multiplied your business by 10 times, multiple times in your 10 years at Strategic Coach. Can you tell us a little bit about your growth trajectory? Yeah, I can. And it's, you know, it's always important to, to measure that growth so you know if you're on track and where you're landing. So one of the things we do at Keyspire is we seek out independent third party awards and validations of our targets, whether it's we want to be a great place to work and we want somebody else to decide that we want to have great revenue growth and we want somebody else to decide that. So one of the awards that we've won many years in a row is revenue growth, fastest growing companies. And so the first year we were eligible to to apply for the award was 2016. You need five years of growth, they measure. And they measure all the businesses in, uh, in the country and they find the top 500 fastest growing business. That's, that's the concept of the award. They use audited financial statements. So it's all official. It's not just taking someone's word for it. So the first year we applied in 2016, and this is, uh, this is what uh, I've been in coach now for two, two years at this point, two and a half years at this point with this 10X mindset, with this value delivery. So we were the 11th fastest growing company in the country nice which is like even being on the top 500 is awesome so we got 11 in terms of our growth wow and our trajectory we were the number one in the country in just the consumer services category which is a whole category on its own it's you know um consumer services is a really tough category so we were number one in the country fastest growing in consumer services number 11 all around and to relate that to 10x versus 2x our growth i looked at the numbers this morning was 5,446%, which is just over 54X growth. Wow. So it's absolutely amazing that you think 10X and 10X is not always where you land. Sometimes you land 8X, 12X, 
Sometimes you land 56 X. But so, either number is great. <laughs> so either way, it's better than two X, right? Either way, you're in a better place. And like we were talking about earlier, the byproducts that come out of that, you know, 54 X growth, um, is absolutely uh, amazing because the things we produced for our clients, all of the different tools, all the resources, all of the shortcuts we could focus, that's really the output or the outcome of that growth. So we applied every year after that. We won five years in a row on five the top years. 500 list. We've got on the top 500 list. Uh, and then, you know, three years in a row, we were over 10x growth three years in a row. The first year was a 5,400%, so 54x. Then the next year was just over a thousand, so 10x the next year. And the next year was over 1500, so 15x. So, you know, when you think about 10x, uh, most entrepreneurs are happy to hit it just one year. Like, let's just grow and then, and then we can grow from there. But with the mindset and the behavioral change that we had, we managed to hit 10x growth multiple years in a row and win those awards multiple years in a row, which is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Well, congratulations, yeah, thank that's you. super exciting. So how does an entrepreneur like yourself deal with that type of rapid growth? You know, I think I have the same problem of a lot of entrepreneurs in terms of, uh, I win the award and I'm like, great, what's next? What's next year? You know, we often don't look back and have a positive focus and say, look how amazing it is of what we've done as a team. So that's something that uh, I've gotten better at over the years or tried to get better at, still working on is to, you know, get this rapid growth, get this success, but also, Make sure you take time to celebrate that. Um, as an entrepreneur, for me, forward-looking, it just helps reinforce the 10x mindset that I've decided to adopt. It helps reinforce that anything's possible. And you know, somebody would have told me 10x isn't possible you know, back in 2010, and there I was five years later winning a 54x award. So uh, it just reinforces that the mindset for me works. Um, it's absolutely so valuable the 10x mindset, and um, and it, it just drives the growth that I'm looking for. Well, you said it. So I've been interviewing strategic coach entrepreneurs like this for over 10 years now, and I absolutely love it. And one common theme that often comes up is that entrepreneurs end up feeling like the sky's the limit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a good way to put it. It's like, there are no limits. It is whatever you can envision, um, and then you get the who's, not the how's to get you there. I mean, it's, it's anything's possible. And, you know, like Dan says, there's no unrealistic goals. There's just unrealistic timelines or time frames. So, you know, just set your goal, set the right time frame, and, and you'll make it. I mean, there's, there's, there's uh, people out there, and they are billionaires, multi-billionaires. They're not smarter than anyone, any of us. They're not, they don't have more hours in a day. They just have a different mindset and then they align their life to that mindset. So anything's possible. Sky is the limit. Right. So let's talk about your life today, right now. What's next for you? We are at the end of 2022, getting into 2023. What are your goals for that? I'm assuming it's, it's uh, to go 10X again. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we actually just set our, our, our 10 year target and it is a 10X target, absolutely. You know, you tell the team you're going to 10x and everyone looks around, no matter how big your team is, they look around they're like, how are we going to do 10 times more? Are we going to work harder? I'm like, no, we're not working longer. No one has to stay late to do 10x. We just have to do things a little bit differently. We got to bring on the right people. We're actually going to work less, guys. We might have to work less. Right? <laughs> yeah. and, and you, 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 you get to do your unique ability more often because the things you don't want to do, we'll have the resources. We'll have the behavioral set, the behavior set to be able to bring people in and do those things. And so when uh, the team and I had that conversation and they got to see it that way, I think it was pretty exciting for them. Uh, a lot of them told me later on that it's pretty inspiring to understand that we would get to that, that level. And it's, it, it, it's uh, also really unique, I think, in my business versus other businesses, because what we do is we put people in control of their future. So we're not just selling products and saying, okay, you're gonna get a great product, you're gonna, we're gonna manufacture this. We're helping people change their lives. Uh, and so the team really loves the idea that helping 50,000 or 100,000 people is a lot more than helping 1,000 or 5,000 or 10,000. So it's almost like the bigger we can make this goal, the more of an impact we have on the landscape and the more people we can help. So the bigger the goal, the better when it comes to that. 
Absolutely. So speaking in terms of today, where is Keyspire at? How is Keyspire differentiated in the marketplace? What's going on? What's new? What's most exciting? Yeah, I think the, the, the core focus for us is pretty simple. We want to continue to be the best at real estate investor coaching. So that's our core focus. We put everything through the 10x filter. We focus on delivering our value, our shortcuts to our clients in the most uh, efficient, fun, and effective way that we can. And that's basically what we're focusing on as an organization. And that's what differentiates us. Because you know, at the end of the day, you can, in our industry, you could go on YouTube and you could get uh, real estate advice for free. Well, we all know how good free advice is, but you could get <laughs> advice for, for anybody can just tell you, you know, how to buy the next property or whatever it is they're going to tell you. But that's not what we do. We have a unique way of showing people a unique process. We have over a hundred unique tools that don't exist anywhere on the planet. Continue to be, you know, that innovation wedge, that lead ship in the armada so that everybody is following us and trying to catch up because we're always creating the next new tool or the new innovative process. I love it. Well, I'm so excited to see what comes next. I know it's going to be super exciting. You have achieved the level of exponential growth that you've set out to achieve. What is your personal life like? What does your wife say about you being a strategic coach? How does your family benefit? Do you have more free time? I've really uh, been able to balance my four freedoms. For people who are outside of coach, um, can you quickly explain and say 10 seconds what the four freedoms are? Yeah, so, so it, it's, a great, it's a great point. I talk, again, I talk about this with my kids. It's like the, the coach tools that I use in my business life have spilled over to my personal life and now they're spilling over to my, my kids' life, which is really cool. So it's very simple. We've got the freedom of time, freedom of money, the freedom of relationships, and the freedom of purpose. So let me tell you about what those mean to me because they mean something different to everybody. Uh, the freedom of time is, to me, the freedom of time means that I get to choose when I work on things. Not only what I work on, that's exciting in itself. You get to choose what you work on. But if you get to choose what you work on and you're still working seven days a week, then you haven't got your freedom of time. So if I want to go you know, work two or three days straight, I've done that before. I've done a little mini retreat and when I go to a strategic coach workshops, so I'll, I'll go for three days straight, lock myself in a hotel room and get a ton of stuff done. Right. <laughs> but then if I want to take three days off in the middle of the week and go to my kid's field trip and spend some time, go mountain biking, do what I want to do, then I get to choose that as well. So the freedom of time for me is to choose when I do my activities um, in addition to what I do. And so some of the impacts that's had on me is I've really got a chance to contribute to the community more. So I sit, I get a chance to sit on the board of directors for the Children's Foundation. We feed over 100,000 children a year, which is, wow, which is really cool. That so, is so great. I get to use everything I'm talking to you about, the 10X mindset, the four freedoms, every tool that I've learned from coach, every tool that I've designed myself for my clients, I get to bring that to an organization that has a mission to feed children and provide education for children that, that can't afford it. So it's really cool to be able to take what, what I've learned and add value that way. Um, with the freedom of time, I get to sit on school council at my kid's school. I find those two things are really cool. Those, I couldn't do those things if I didn't have the freedom of time. I would be working or catching up or whatever it is else I would be doing. You have two young sons. I'm sure they love having dad around. Yeah, so I get to you know, spend time with them if we're going to go to school and they want me to show up to a, a school field trip. And yeah, let, let's do it. Then you can be there. Then I can be there. And I get them off the bus pretty much every day. And put them on the bus every day. And I don't think I've missed a day since, you know, school started this year, no matter what's going on, I, I, they're going to see me when they get off the bus and they're going to see me before they get on and give them, get to give them a hug and a kiss. That's, That's cool. The best. Yeah. So let's talk about freedom of purpose. What does that mean? Freedom of purpose. Yeah. This one is a, is a little more uh, abstract for, for more people. Freedom of purpose goes along with doing the things that align with my values. And doing the things that, I mean, give me, give me excitement and purpose. When I'm in the freedom of purpose zone and I'm spending 80% of my time in things that, that I feel bring me purpose, things that add value. So one of the things I love doing is uh, coaching our 
clients and then hearing the feedback of their stories on how they improve their life, on how they either made more money or sent their kids to school or supported their aging parents, like whatever it is, that freedom of purpose, a lot, that's, that's my purpose, to, right. to hear those stories and to get those results for them. Oh, you so, must get to hear the best stories. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got great awards programs so that we can collect these stories. And uh, so that's my purpose. And to have the freedom of purpose means that I get to do that to make money, to pay the bills. I don't have to go do something I don't want to do. I get to, to, to make my money, earn my income on the things that drive my purpose. So And that make really you the cool. happiest and most passionate and most energized and most creative yeah. and the list goes on. And just, yeah, just <laughs> operating in your zone. And yeah. And then, and then there's the freedom of money, which I mean, it's pretty obvious for most people, but you know, you have freedom of money. But to me, freedom of money, the way I like to put it is, I know I've got freedom of money when I can read the menu left to right. And so it's a really interesting way to look at it. You know, everyone's been to an expensive restaurant where you're like, okay, and then you read and you read from right to left, right? It's like, oh my, you open a wine list in an expensive restaurant, you're reading right to left. So freedom of money for me is the, the left side, the right side doesn't exist. I'm reading the menu left to right. That is and, so good. Yeah, I haven't heard anyone describe it like yeah. that. That it, is freedom. It's, it's so the real. simplest thing of just being able to read the menu. It's I, so that real. That is so and, funny. And after you hear that, it, it, it gets programmed in your brain and you're aware of it. I see it all the time. People read, I can tell they're reading right to left. I can watch <laughs> their eyes. And so freedom of money means that I, meet, I, I, I call it, this is my statement, I read the menu left to right. So that could be going out for dinner is the obvious one. That could be, you're going to get in, going to buy a new car and you're like, okay, I want to want what I want. I don't yeah. want to want what I, what I can afford. Right. Uh, you're, you know, we're, Unlimited. We're, we're building a house right now and I'm reading the menu left to right. Okay. This is, this is the floor we want. This is the, let's get it. So to me, that's freedom of money is reading the menu left to right and not right to left. And, so uh, good. So good, yeah, Michael. <laughs> so that, that, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. So good. And then what about freedom of relationship? What does that mean? Can you explain yeah. what that means to people? Yeah. So freedom of relationship, what it means to me is I get to choose who I do business with and who I don't do business with. So, you know, starting early on in entrepreneur will almost, I'll take anything, right? But you have to uh, do things that don't quite align with your, your personal values, your business values. And that comes with so many extra added complexities yes. that it's not even worth it sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's not, but it's, it's hard to turn down some things that are not, you right? know, they're not, yeah. you, don't, you don't quite believe in them, but so I get to, the freedom of relationship for me is I get to choose to work with whoever I want. If I want to say no to an opportunity, it doesn't change the business, doesn't change the cash confidence in the business. You know, I can work with many of the people that I want to work with because of this 10 times mindset. People want to work with me and my company. So the freedom of relationship is I get to work with who I want to work with, when I want to work with them, and work with them people that have, have the same values as I do. You are obviously a very successful entrepreneur. You seem to be at a place in your life that is really happy and where you've been striving to be and where you want to be. Why still invest in Strategic Coach? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it's, it's the opposite question. Why not? Like, why, why wouldn't I if the freedom of money is there and it, the program is proven to drive my freedom, my other freedoms, then uh, why wouldn't I continue to stay with the program? You still need something to ground you as an entrepreneur and as a person. And I find that Strategic Coach, coach helps me stay grounded, focused, and just gives me that space every 90 days to think about my thinking, gives me that space to reset, reorganize, reevaluate, and just refresh. And so then I leave the strategic coach workshop and I just feel more, I feel more focused even though I have 10 more ideas, which never happens. <laughs> you 10 ideas, you feel more scattered. So that's, that's why I continue. Um, I enjoy the, you know, the different components of strategic coach. The coaches are great. Um, I'm fortunate to have Dan as my coach, which is, which is amazing. But, uh, and he's just, you know, a very unique 
individual in terms of the way that he provides value that can't be found anywhere else. Uh, so it's just great to hear him speak and to learn from him. But all the coaches are great. I go to all of the, I go to a lot of the signature workshops to refresh and I get to experience the other coaches and I just have such a great experience with all of them. And so the coaches are great. Uh, the tools, I love, I love using the tools and, you know, I've got my four or five favorite that we use all the time. And there's some that I don't use as much, some that I use more and everyone uses more. Some come in handy at certain times yeah. in life and some go on the back burner and then they switch up depending on what's happening in the world. It's a toolbox, right? You're not <laughs> yeah. always going to use the hammer, but when right. you need it, you better you have a hammer. You want it there, yeah. <laughs> and if you're an entrepreneur without a hammer, you're a renovator without a hammer. Right. It's like you're an entrepreneur without the impact filter. Like you need, you need to get the, you need, you need these tools. So you got the coaches. You got the tools and those are exciting. And then you've got the community. So you've got the, the people that are there. And in every coach workshop, I think I draw equal amount of value from the coach, the tools and the people. It's like, it's all fits together. I don't think I would have the same experience if one of them was missing. And you know, you get these great breakout sessions and you talk to people from all around the world and uh, you hear what's happening in their business in different industries, people I would never normally come across. Right. Different industries. And uh, you hear about the same challenges, you hear about the things they're doing, how I can apply that to my business, how I can help them. So those conversations are amazing. And you know, every, every workshop, I think I take away a six figure nugget from the community. Something that I hadn't thought about before. Maybe it's something brand new. Maybe it's just a shift in perspective but something that I feel is gonna drive six figures into my business. And I, I feel like I get one of those six figure nuggets at every workshop, just from the people I talk to. I love that. I love the six figure nuggets so much. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy that you're getting so much value from Strategic Coach. That's what we set out to do. It's been so lovely to hear your story. Thank you for sharing it. Do you have any advice for entrepreneurs who are right now considering joining Strategic Coach? What, why should they join? What are your thoughts there for them? Yeah, I would think, and so I've, I've recommended a lot of people to Strategic Coach and there's a, a number of people have come in and they've all thanked me and said, you know, thank you for introducing me to this. This is, this is amazing way for me to organize my growth in my business. Um, what I would say is it depends on, on what you want, you know, in terms of uh, your growth, in terms of your personal life. If you want those freedoms and you're just starting out, then strategic coach is a good goal to get to because strategic coach, you have to qualify to get in. If you qualify, then you've already got the taste of the success. You already know what it's like to make progress. So why not just put some fuel on the fire? Why not make that progress happen faster? with less frustration, with more fun, and be around people that are moving in the same direction, so. It's so funny and I love that you say that in my many conversations with entrepreneurs and strategic coach, we have a really good laugh because they'll say, you know what, I'm gonna be honest here. I've been following you guys online for 10, 20 years thinking, you know, I'll just read what's on the website and in the blog and in the books and I'll be fine. And then they join and they're like, I'm, I feel so stupid. I wish I had just joined 10, 20 years yeah. ago because I would be way far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's exactly it. Even in the first, the first few workshops, the tools I got, the, the different way of thinking in the first few workshops just changed the way I approached my day to day. When I worked with my team, when I created, did my value creation to the company and to the world. So right away you get, you get an impact and right away you feel it and it, it grows with you. I think that's another important factor is, you know, I've taken a lot of like courses and programs and I take them and they're done. I'm like, oh, that was good. I learned something. Close that well, chapter. And close it up and then purpose. looking for something new. Strategic Coach grows with you. They've been around, for, Dan's been doing this for 50 years now or more. I don't know how long, but like since the seventies and he, people have grown with them for over 30, 35 years and they're still there because it grows with you. Your, your journey for personal fulfillment doesn't end. Your journey for cash confidence might end. You might be at a place where you say, okay, well, I have enough money. I don't need any more. But how does that money translate into fulfillment? And so that's where I think coach can grow with people, you know, and, and limitedly until the future. 
Absolutely, right? And that's why Strategic Coach, you know, the number one thing is entrepreneurial growth. It's an organization that's focused on the entrepreneur's growth. Yeah. So we will grow with you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, no, and it's great. <laughs> so well said. And it's great to see the people around you grow. It's great to right? be in touch with the coaches and watch their businesses grow. And it's great to build the relationships that you could take outside of Strategic Coach in terms of still connecting and doing business. And it, it's, it's really exciting. Good, absolutely. Do you have any final thoughts or anything else that you want to add or sum up that you think is important or that you want people to know? If you can't quite envision it, you can't quite see it, you say 10x, I don't, I don't understand how it's bigger than 2x. Well, my final thoughts or my advice is you got to believe it till you make it. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe if you've heard everybody's story and this is the mindset that brought them to a certain place. You've got to believe it can work for you. And you know, some people say, fake it till you make it. I say, believe it till you make it. Because it's that belief that's going to get you to the point where you actually see results. So believe it till you make it. That's what I would say to any entrepreneur looking to grow 10x. I love that so much. And I remember you had shared with me um, when you were at your strategic coach workshop that early on in Keyspire, you just behaved and thought and did everything as if you had already achieved that 10x growth. And that's a little bit of the secret sauce that made it come true. I loved when you said that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I learned this from the story I read about the CEO of IBM many, many years ago. They said, let's just behave and act as if we were the company that we wanna be, not the company we are today. And I remember learning that even before I came into coach. And then when I came into coach, it, it, all the pieces clicked a little bit more in terms of, okay, this is the company I want to be. I want to be a 10X company. And so now we can behave like that today. We can act like that. We can make investments that are going to drive there. We can find people that are going to come along for the journey. In your mind, you were already there. In my mind, I was already there. And we've, this year, we've, sent our te we've set our 10X goal for our 10-year target. And in my mind, I'm already there. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do with all the clients and how we're going to do some fun and inter interesting things. And so, yeah, in my mind, I'm already there. And, uh, and, uh, and I believe it. I believe it. Believe it until you make it. Yeah, I'll believe it and then we'll be there. And then I'll set up my, ne my next 10X target. <laughs> Strategic coach entrepreneurs are achieving big results. They're eliminating stress and they're experiencing more freedom in their lives. As we saw with Michael, not only is he experiencing exponential growth in his business, but he's also experiencing exponential freedom and happiness in his life too. Like Michael said, with the 10X mindset, nothing is impossible. He had big ambition and big capabilities bottled up inside of him. It wasn't until he joined Strategic Coach that he got the tools he needed to achieve those bigger results. If you resonate with Michael's story and you want to learn more about Strategic Coach and the 10X mindset, visit the website at strategiccoach.com and book your free discovery call. Or go to resources.strategiccoach.com forward slash 10X thinking to receive a free guidebook on the 10X mindset.